on guys it's Neil Bauman here with Parrot Key and some more tips on mastering mobile this is gonna be roof inspections solely roof inspections and in mobile inspecting a roof and estimating on site didn't watch my first two videos make sure you go watch those the first video shows you how we set up this uploading the ESX Eagle view whatever it is that you get your roof sketches uploading it prior to getting on this roof and I'm gonna show you why Now, as a lot of you know, a lot of your roof inspection can be done from the top rung of your ladder here. Um, this is when you want to get your, your uh, pitch gauge out, your shingle gauge, measure your gutters, which if you have my inspector stick, very simple. Chubby buttons, uh, your stick, iPad, open it up, get to the camera, 0.5, slap it there, snap it, got it. All right, now I'll pop up here, pitch gauge out. Snap that, cool. Then again, shingle gauge, you wanna slide it on here. If you have some loose shingle tabs, you could do it here. Uh, usually I'll check for you adjusters out there. I'll snap my photo and see if the screws are going through the drip edge, and then I'm ready to go. Now, getting up on the roof here, just kind of doing my evaluation really quick. Uh, this roof was just replaced, uh, so really not too much, you know, not really any damage I'm gonna be able to find up here. But this is where I'll gather my photos, get your front, your right, rear, all that stuff in, in, in good order. Um, then I'll get my close-ups of my damage. We, we can act like there's some damage here. Pull out my inspector stick, got the chubby buttons. Oop, gotta open my camera app here. We'll say this vent is damaged here. All right, close up picture, and then I gotta step back on the perspective. Bam, all right, do that a couple times with the damage. All right, yeah, th this says good damage. We're gonna replace this roof, all right? So now I wanna get into the exact minute. Step over here into the shade. Always find some good shade if you can when you're writing in this thing, because it can get hot. So coming into the file, Clicking in. Remember, we set this up prior to getting here. We got the roof already there, look at that. You go into the list view, look at that, dwelling elevations front. Now I'm just clicking through the different things and estimating in order. Switching over my sketch. All right, roof, now let me show you how easy this is. Select the roof, come here, come into my macros, roof shingle. Now I'm just going through and looking at the accessories, what I have here. Each of these circles you see here, this is a line item. Whatever one I don't want, like ice and water barrier, drip edge, starter, ridge cap. Uh, what else we got? Roof vents, uh, different, continuous ridge aluminum, valley metal. Now I'm just going through and counting all the stuff up. Whatever's not there, deselecting, deselecting. Keep going, turtle type. Those are there, turbine, no turbines. All right, exhaust cap, no, furnace vent. Flashing pipe jack, yes. Lead, no chimneys. L flashing, step flashing. We can figure that out with the code there. Um, no satellite. You get the idea. Solar panels. Set your macros up to where it helps you out. Hit the plus button. All added. Now I come into my inventory. Look at the roof. 18,000. Now I'm just going through editing quantities. There's one here. All right. Do say there's eight. Done. Damn, going through each one, adding the different stuff to it. And it's that simple. Once you step off the roof, now I just literally can step off the roof now and go over to the insured customer, whatever it may be, and I can show them, yeah, your roof is at 19,000. That's just gonna separate you from all these other guys. Like, it, usually uh, I gotta go home and write this up for you. No, there's no more of that. We're done right here. Now I can go down and show them right away. Well, this took me, whoa, this video is about three minutes and we're done with our roof. Hey guys. hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Any business inquiries, questions, or support needed, please reach out to the email listed below.